In today's video, I'm going to share with you the five situations where you should never text a man even if you really want to. Hello, my name is Greta Berishvede. I'm dating and relationship coach for women. For the awesome high value woman secrets, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I upload new videos every Wednesday and Sunday. And just before I share with you the five situations where you should never text a guy, don't forget to take my free self-awareness test. Are you a woman of low value or high value, which I will drop down in the video description box below. So my queens, without further ado, let's start. The number one situation is trying to please him, trying to impress him. For example, sending pictures of yourself to a man without him even asking for it is pursuing and chasing. It is also trying to impress him with your looks. In the beginning, sure, he might feel flattered, a hot girl is chasing him, but after a while, he will get bored and will look for someone more challenging. Someone that he needs to impress, not vice versa. Please watch my video, why you should be a challenge for a man and how to do that, which you'll find just by following the link right here. The second situation, then you should never text a guy first, is when you are feeling bored. Nothing screams louder than I have no life to a guy. When you text him because you're bored at home, what will happen next? He will sense your lifeless texts from a mile away, especially if he's at work, if he's out running errands or helping a friend with a project. If you are really so, so bored, then find yourself something creative to do. Read a book, cook, or take a walk in nature instead of picking up the phone and waiting for him to entertain you. He is not your clown. Do not expect him to be one. <laughs> and a needy behavior like this will sure turn him off in no time. Number three, texting him when you are in a negative mood, when you just want to nag, complain, blame, and so on. If you're generally a very positive woman and you pretty much know how to figure your life and your problems out yourself, but one time you send him a text about your more negative day, is fine. He knows this is not how you are 99% of the time. If, however, every time you are angry and upset, the first thing you always do is blast his phone up with text to criticize him, text him how unfair some of your friends are, or that you're fighting with your mother again, or your boss was rude to you today, what do you think he will do? And do you think this is attractive? No, not at all. Why would he want to continue dating you if all you bring is negativity to his life? A guy wants a woman to have herself together majority of the time, same as you would want the same from a guy. Number four. Too much texting by initiating. Let the guy do most of the initiating when it comes to texting and everywhere else. As I said before, this is his role to chase, pursue, so let him. If you were the last one to text and he did not reply, but you notice he read the text, you leave it and you let him text you next. If you get really impatient and double text, think him first in the morning and then you notice you are the one who's always doing it, it's time to stop as this is over pursuing a man. And now you're not acting feminine anymore, you're actually getting into a very masculine mode, which is a turnoff for a man. 
Ladies, for this, I would really recommend you to get my how to stay attractive via text video, which I will drop down for sale in my video description box below. And here comes the fifth one, texting him when you are insecure. This is really off-putting. So let's say you have not heard from him all day and your mind starts to wander around. You are thinking he might be losing interest in you or maybe he didn't reply to your last message right away so you're thinking that maybe he's hanging out with another woman. You then let these insecurities get to you and then you start texting him in a controlling way such as where are you, who are you with or texting a very insecure message did I do something wrong? Do you still like me? Ladies, messages like these give off either controlling or insecure vibes, which also turns guys off very quickly. So ladies, if you find yourself in a position like that constantly, as I said before, my texting video is all you need and you can get it from the video description box below. So ladies, if you like my video, please press like. Let me know in the comments below what do you think. If you have some more texting tips, please feel free to share them in the comments below. Join Greta's High Value Woman School where we are all in the same boat, learning how to be women of high value and bring out the best in our men. Follow me on my Instagram. My Instagram is private. It's called Ladies Relationship Coach. And for one-on-one -on -one coaching, uh, coaching with a member of my team or group coaching or even to get some video packages, check out my website which is called ladiesrelationshipcoach.com. After, get in touch with me over WhatsApp as that is where I coach. Thank you for watching. Kisses from Manchester. Mm.